Hello and welcome everyone back to another video. My name is Jikat and today we're back with another banger video talking about the one and only winning chain, the chain with the greatest growth potential. My personal best bet this upcoming altcoin season, the true leverage of Ethereum, that is the leverage of Bitcoin. Guys, we have one bull one every four years. You want to make the best out of it. Are you going to be satisfied with just a Forex by holding Ethereum to 10,000 this bull run? No, you want to make more life-changing gains. This is what you're subscribed about, ladies and gentlemen, the information asymmetry. Welcome back to my channel, talking about the latest and greatest news regarding Pulse Chain. And today's title is The Market Has Chosen Pulse Chain. Okay, you want to be the first 1% before the rest of the 99% of crypto traders and investors. Okay, either people who don't know about Pulse Chain or the people who ignore Pulse Chain and laugh about Pulse Chain. We're going to be covering the latest movements within Pulse Chain that makes it super bullish. We are in exciting times, guys. Super close ahead of us. Altcoin season is about to start rallying up. I've been telling people, literally, I've been telling people so many times. I've, I, I did this pattern recognition, you know, kind of TA analysis. Okay, nothing too special, honestly. You, all you have to do is look at the patterns. History often does indeed repeat itself and it often does rhyme as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. We have bull runs. Of course, we're not we're not going to have a super bull run. We're not going to have a, you know, we're not going to break out of the cycle. There's always going to be a bear market. There's always going to be a bull market. It's tied to do with the global liquidity index. Okay, I, be, I truly do believe the Bitcoin halving is kind of like a, a catalyst, you know what I mean? Or like a kickoff. It's kind of like coincidence as well. Uh, but regardless, that's kind of for another topic. Going back to it, okay, the title of the video is the market has chosen Pulse Chain. Guys, looking at the crypto bubbles in the past week in terms of performance, okay, look at this. The sea of lava. What is green? What is popping? It is Pulse Hex, and I'm not sure why Pulse Hex is not showing, but yes, this is what we have is green, guys. Okay, people will realize sooner or later, FOMO will happen. Okay, don't, don't catch the worst end of FOMO. Okay, you want to be there early. <laughs> yeah anyways moving on looking into GoPost. gotta love GoPost, by the way so polished the ux experience is so beautiful i really like it shout out to them honestly making pulse chain so professional a great way to showcase pulse chain to people and show them hey this is pulse chain go to GoPost. they're gonna look at the website they're like yeah this this looks legit which it is pulse chain is legit you know what i mean this is the greatest thing about pulse chain which i truly do believe one of our greatest assets is not the technology the foundation you know what i mean the fork full system state copy fork of ethereum okay it, i truly do believe our greatest asset is the community itself the smart people that we have on board the builders the content creators the influencers right the educators, tons of people that I can mention right now. You know what I mean? Sunny, Sunny and his ecosystem, Sunny's pub, and of course the the rewarder ecosystem. I've learned so much from them, guys. So so much from them. And of course we got great builders and and influencers as well, like you know the PTGC community. What a great, you know, absolute story has great lore. The ecosystem has you know grown to be what it is today as well. And of course the PRC twenty with the gold mine and people that are you know trying to find the next thing get things to parity we got nine millimeters as well bringing in the v3 that's game changing you can make a lot of aprs with those i've had days where i was making two percent per day guys okay honestly you can make you can be a player in pulse chain in so many different ways at so many different levels of risks it really is a chain for everyone okay again that's kind of for another story that's not what we're going to be talking about today but in terms of by the way even when we look at the monthly performance what is the biggest bubble you can see guys hex okay kind of as well pulse look at that it's beautiful 78 percent. now once we go back let's see how many days it's day 511 of pulse running absolutely perfectly with 100 percent uptime beautiful Look at this. We are 0 0.56, uh, 0 0.56 um, x away from or from sacrifice rate, which is absolutely not bad, by the way. And then, of course, okay. Wow, I actually didn't know this. With hex and p hex combined, we are at two cents. I remember when that was at one cent. That was crazy, crazy times. And obviously, IC is doing really well. Pulsex is doing really well. We can see the uh, the 24-hour performance. 
everything's going up guys everything's going up i mean even actually today uh, we have ethereum and bitcoin you know bouncing back obviously due to the fears of um you know we are kind of in the fear and greed index we are on the on the fear side which obviously might be scary to people but i think that's kind of a q3 q4 is going to become bullish for sure obviously you know uh, what they call it pump pump october or october <laughs> i think it is loading up don't worry about that we're only we're only in the first week of october so you know don't let those fear mongering and and fud just generally affect you okay try to act uh you know without emotional uh without your emotional side really just you know look at graphs understand that okay i look at red candles i buy at red candles i buy when volumes are low okay so uh yeah honestly the whole fear mongering uh, about ww3 is all gone it's going to be sentiments that will basically fade away and then we're going to be back on track so yeah don't wait till it's confirmed that oh actually this is all uh, just a couple of news articles that are trying to stir the pot okay so uh yeah anyways uh, ethereum is doing not bad you know 2.4k bitcoin thankfully above 60k still um and then yeah when we look at things like the altcoin index it is getting closer you know what i mean we are 33 uh, here in the altcoin season index looking at other things today we've had a nice little bump in the total crypto market cap 2.6 percent okay 2.1 uh, trillion okay not bad but i do believe you know lower bound in terms of my top signal targets would be a lower bound of 7 trillion market cap total crypto market cap to around 12 okay i think 12 we're not gonna hit it i don't think we really are i think we're more li likely to touch 10 trillion and of course that would be <laughs> touching so we're talking about a few weeks and that's it do you know what i mean bye bye See you next bull run, which is in three and a half years. So keep that in mind. Do remember 2025 is going to be a euphoric phase where everyone is going to be celebrating. Everyone's going to be thinking that, oh, this is just the beginning. Okay. When we're at like sitting at nine trillion crypto market cap, everyone's going to say, oh my God, oh, crypto adoption. Da, da, da. You have to be aware, be self conscious. Okay. Don't follow the masses. Okay. If Bitcoin hits 150,000. Yeah, that's time for you to turn your altcoins into stablecoins and cash them out, okay? It's time to take profits, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? I'm here to educate you guys on my level, on what I know, okay? I do, I truly do believe in shared knowledge is equal to knowledge squared. So, uh, yeah, do understand that. People will be telling you, oh, my God, no, Bitcoin is going to go to quarter of a million, 500,000 this year or 2026. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no cash your profits fine you can do the 90 10 percent rule which is um you know for example turning 90 percent of your altcoins into stable coins leave a 10 percent back just in case you know what i mean don't do the mistakes that the shiba inu and uh, not shiba you know the dog with hat and the dogecoin devs did that you know they sold their bags for literally like 50k they didn't even have a single percent or a single token of their own of their own project and look, they've missed out on making millions, guys, tens of millions. Yeah, do not make that mistake. And actually, with that, on that note, I mean, there's a video that I want to show you guys. Okay, speaking of Hex, of how bullish, we're going to be speaking about Hex in a second. Don't worry, don't worry. Look at this video. Oh my God. Uh, I... Why did I say my? X man. This guy had oh, 16 million e hex. 16 million hex. And I sold it all. 16 million Why? hex. Guys. That's a lot. Man, let me show y'all where I sold my I sold my hex at day 136. Right around here. When I sold it, the next day it went up to here. I said, okay, I'm going to buy it back when it dip. The next day it went up to here. I yeah. said, okay, I'm going to wait. Then it went up here. Yep. Then it went up here. He's waiting for the dip, guys. Unfortunately. I sold my hex, That's, man. That is unfortunate. Then it went up here, and I okay. said, please dip. Please dip back to 5,000. And then it went up to Don't 10. be like him, guys. That's the lesson that I'm trying to show. Obviously, no disrespect to him. Obviously, we all have stories like this. We all have painful stories of things that we missed out on, things that we didn't 
hold long enough, okay? Sometimes we do get the token right, but the second part of the equation is for how long do we hold it? Okay, it's a really tough game, of course. And obviously the answer is sometimes you just have to keep holding, keep holding, 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 holding. The biggest winners are the last winners. I actually do believe that obviously I'm, this is why there's a reason why I'm not a crypto trader. I'm not here to make 10, 15, 20%. I want to make meaningful life changing gains. Okay. So I cannot be in a nine to five so I can start my own businesses. So I can actually step into the world of real estate and then start making true passive income. So I can put like 50 K into the Pulse X farms and live off of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my dream guys. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, don't be like this guy. Obviously, we've all had times like this, guys. You know what I mean? Uh, even me, within Pulse in the past year, I've had tokens that I'm like, damn, I just let that, you know what I mean? I let it slip under my radar. But of course, you can't be everywhere. You can't invest in everything because then you might be spreading yourself too thin. Okay, so you need to believe in something. And then obviously, you have to be convicted to it. You have to believe in something. And on that note, by the way, thank you very much. If you are following me on my Twitter, Thank you. I'm going to leave my Twitter link in the description. Go join my Telegram community, the farmers community, guys. It's obviously a free community. Be part of the conversation. Don't be left alone. Ask questions. Okay, you can reach out to me. You can ask me questions on there or you can DM me. Link in the description. My username is at cool -eyed. Don't reply to anyone who doesn't have a username, who has my you know uh, profile picture but no new username. That is a scammer. I will never ask you for money. I'll never ask for any personally identifiable information, PIIs, no, okay? Anyways, moving on. We have another uh, piece of news here about Hex, because guys, we're going to cover Hex in a second. This is extremely bullish news. This wallet, this is from Panos, by the way. Shout out to him. I uh, really like his tweets. Very, very, very valuable. I urge everyone actually to go follow him as well. Uh, this wallet staked around $3 million worth of P Hex today that they had liquid the shares are laddered between 1.1 to 2 years bullish. That's really good, actually. This is when you have whales turning into long-term investors. That means they believe in it. And of course, one of the best things to do is to copy whales. Okay, so this is a really good sign. Whales who are showing conviction, people that are believing in this. And by the way, 3 million worth of PX. God damn, that's a lot of money. Okay, this guy says must be Richard Hart's wallet. Nah, he wouldn't hold that. Uh, the altcoins in that wallet, etc. So yeah, you can see pretty cool stuff. You know, the guy also, hey, look at that. He's also holding Titan X. He's also holding P die. What a based whale, guys. What, what a based whale. This is what I'm all about. And I've been telling this to people, by the way, is that I've realized a lot of the Pulse Chain people community is actually overlapping with Titan X community. I love it to see that we are that's what we're all about, guys. At the end of the day, Richard Hart said this. He designed Pulse Chain to take the load off of Ethereum so that the gas fees on Ethereum can be cheaper. Okay, that's honestly probably one of the byproducts of creating Pulse Chain. It's really good. It's good for the you know ecosystem, etc. It is all about innovation. At the end of the day, you know, what I mean. Like, for example, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first solution. Doesn't mean it's the best solution now. We have Evolution. Ethereum came in and changed their game. We have Layer 1, Layer 2s. And now Pulsion being the first of its own kind, the full system state copy, creating the largest airdrop in all crypto history, right? With the freemium, the PRC20s, the gold mine, as they call it. Okay, it is it great to be in Pulse Chain, guys. It is great to be in Pulse Chain. Let me tell you that. Moving on to the next tweet here from the Richard Hart, the man himself. Pulse is up 2x in Ethereum in the last three months. So we're going to be showing you that actually right now. You can see this is the uh, WPLS slash uh, wrapped ETH. Okay, so how many, uh, how many, uh, what's the cost of WPLS in Ethereum? You can see that in the previous months we are up against ethereum so basically outpacing ethereum's rate of growth uh by a 2x which is really really good again this is kind of signs of the whole uh altcoin season starting to rally up the next leg up okay if mean if you look at the wick off accumulation pattern that's a really uh, pl good place to look at because that matches wpls almost exactly so once we go to my um uh, watch list and then we see my double pls i don't think i have it really here but if i put it on price you can kind of imagine a wick off 
accumulation here. I mean, if you try to overlay, obviously I don't have it right now, but uh, yeah, we have great days ahead of us, guys, with WP less, by the way. This is the main, as Somi likes to call it, the main spear of pulse chain, okay? This moves up by 5%, PulseX moves up by, I don't know, 8%, INC moves up by 12%, PDI moves up by, I don't know, 30%. You know what I mean? You got PTGC, Teddy Bear moves up by 40%. It's all about leverages of leverages. Okay, but at the end of the day, we still have different confidence levels, risk levels. You want to segment your risks. You want to categorize them. You want to have all your portfolios in high risk things. Okay, so yeah, you want to have, you know, more capital and more confident things, even if it means that it's slow moving tokens such as Pulse and Pulse X. Okay, you got PHEX, you got INC as well. I mean, those are very, very confident. Those are the four rich or hardcore tokens. You cannot sleep on them, guys. You cannot sleep on them. You cannot go to a meme co meme coin and then forget about their main rich or hardcore tokens. That is my opinion, though, at the end of the day. So obviously, you can have your own strategy with your own different risk tolerances as well. So just just be sure that you're, you're managing your risk at some degree. That is quite important. Obviously, don't put all your eggs in one basket, um, etc. So yeah, this is a really great chart. You have different milestones here. We have, you know, a nice little 50x from sacrifice rate. And then we have an, a 100x to 1 cent to sacrifice rate. And I think that is believable, in my opinion. And and I've seen the, what's his name? Beerus talk about a 27 cent pulse. Definitely, I don't think that will happen. I mean, that's, oof, that's so high. Okay, that is so high. That is a, a literal 2,600x, guys. Okay, I mean, goddamn. Like, for that to happen... The, the the market dominance we would have to topple ethereum itself okay that's going to be a tough one that's really going to be a tough one okay um we'll see we'll see how it happens i mean maybe if if vitalik actually uh, admits that he has a girlfriend then possibly there's a chance that pulse chain will topple ethereum after that <laughs> i'm just joking or if he takes another uh, booster jab i'm just joking anyways go, going back to it moving on to actual uh, charts Okay, we get, let's start with the eHex, guys. Oh my God, I love eHex. Okay, looking at the monthly candle, because this one actually kind of shows different um, information, in my opinion. Looking at the super trend on the monthly candle, you can see that this month might be the first month, guys. It actually might be the first month that generates that green super trend candle. We have, f it would be a major flip since the previous basically all-time high guys for the first time ehex could flip green in a thousand plus days guys this is a huge milestone holy like this is huge in my opinion okay <laughs> like <laughs> this is i mean even looking at the hex scout shout out to that website by the way pretty cool i've had um, a viewer of mine over in the telegram uh, group chat shout out to him he mentioned a really interesting, uh, you know, uh, point here. It seems like we're basically repeating history of us being here. It's as if that we were back at those days, right? Just before the the nonstop rally up where there was no dips to be eaten, where Hex was waiting for no one. It's a train that doesn't stop for no passengers. It has a destination. It doesn't care who comes on board. It doesn't care who's been waiting, who's been praying for a dip. Guys, we are at that level. TikTok, guys, time is running out. I've been making videos about eHex. I told you guys months ago, I got into eHex. I made a video. Go check it out. I literally said, I am now a hexagon. And I talked about it. And I've literally invested, guys. I dropped one bag in the video. And guess what? I haven't sold a single penny since that video. I've actually only been DCAing. And I've gone into eHex. Guys, I'm in both. I believe in both PHEX and eHex for separate reasons. For absolutely separate reasons. There's even another um, shout out to Crypto Coffee, by the way. Major inspiration. I love the way that he onboards people into Pulse Chain. Very well spoken. Honestly, I, I would love to be, you know, at levels of this guy. I really, really like what he does, in my opinion. He's a great content creator as well. I watch him every now and then as well. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a tweet from him that I really, really like. The fact that people still think every big buy is Richard Hart means 
we're in disbelief. And that is such a great point because I told you guys, we're no longer in that bear market. Uh, sorry, we're no longer in that bear trap phase of the psychology cycle, right? We're in the, in the, in the next phase, which is disbelief. People saying, no, 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 there's no way we're about to pump. Oh no, there's no way bull run is actually happening. There's no way Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin's top wasn't actually at 70K. Do you know what I mean? Oh, there's no way that, I don't know, you guys don't believe WW3 is actually not going to happen. I know I'm using double negatives. But anyways, do you know what I mean? Disbelief, people saying, no, no, no. Don't buy, don't buy. No, 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 no. It's going to come down again. Oh, no, Bitcoin's going to retest at 20K, 4K. Like, what? Do you know what I mean? Telling you. Guys, this is going to happen with EHEX. This is with no Richard Hart help. EHEX is pumping on its own, guys. On its own. Look at that. I mean, we look at the daily candle. We, let's let's re, re, uh, recenter that real quick. You can see this, guys. It is on logarithmic. You can see this. Let me quickly put this back. Okay. Look at this, at 51, which is basically at 51 cents, which is all-time high, right? It used to be, guys, from all, you see that yellow line? This is where I used to DCA, guys, and it went all the way down. So at some point, we were 500x away from all-time high with EHEX. But now, it is 148x away. Okay, all of a sudden, it became more r realistic to people. Oh, 148x, oh, sounds realistic. I'm going to jump in. But once you tell them, oh, yeah... EHEX is actually 500x away from all-time high. They say, ain't no way. Like, that shit's dead. There's no way it's going to pump back again. Do you know what I mean? This is the power of HEX, guys, and Pulse Chain. We don't have a strong community. We have a literal cult. And that's what you need for a token to survive, okay? Like, we didn't fall down to minus 99. We survived a minus 99 drop, okay? And this stuff happens, guys. You can see what happened to Shiba Inu. It has, it has made minus 90 plus percent drops multiple times. You know what I mean? Where it made, made a 700x minus 98 percent. And then it made a 3000x. Do you know what I mean? This is how it, wa this is how it works, guys. You know what I mean? The, this process, this is how charts move at the end of the day. It literally washes, it, it redistributes the tokens from the weak hands to the strong hands. It, that's it. You have to think about it that way, in my opinion. Looking at PHEX now, this is the, oh, it has been doing well, guys. And it, it's so mind-boggling to me how close we are to such a significant milestone that I truly do believe. I think we're going to hit the dollars in 2025. We're going to hit the dollars. We are at 1.7 cents. Guys, look at this. I've been DCing all the way low. And we kept going because I was like, yeah, there's no way. We're going to bounce off. This is too, too cheap. Looking at the RSI, it was touching. It was literally just kept touching 30, 30 RSI index. I was like, whoa, whoa, yeah, it, it's going to bounce off at some point. And I've been telling people, altcoin season will start soon. Front row seats are going to be taken away. And then you're going to end up being in a long row of people because they're all going to FOMO in. They're going to fight each other. Look at where we are. Look at where, like, this is my entry, like an old time low. Look at this. It was 133x away from 50 cents, okay? EHEX is all-time high, 51 cents, 50 cents, same thing. Okay, and then look at where we are now. <laughs> we are 28x away from that point now. 28x is nothing. Look at this, I even need to update this. This is just a few days ago when I put 34x. It's absolutely crazy to me. So I need to update this, 28x, guys, 28x. Once we reach that number, guys, I'm literally, it would basically, I would have life-changing amount of money, in my opinion. <laughs> it would have, I would have life-changing amount of money right there in that 28X. Okay, but I think we're going to reach the dollars. It's just the beginning. Guys, this is just the beginning. $1 PHEX, yeah. And EHEX, imagine it going back to all-time high and breaking even higher highs after that beyond that because it's going to be price discovery after that point it's literally going to be price discovery okay and now don't get me wrong i've seen people talk about how hex is the better bitcoin i've even used that debate twitter engagement but i think the best way to talk about hex 
is it is the Bitcoin of DeFi. That's the I, I th- I'd say that's the best way to call it. And of course, because the day you guys, you mean never outshine the master, okay? Bitcoin is the first solution. Bitcoin that has started all of this. If Bitcoin wasn't there, if Vitalik wouldn't have had the thought of making an Ethereum, okay? It's the first solution. Yes, it's old. Yes, it's not too incomplete. Yes, it's slow. You know what I mean? Yes, it's, you know, uh, dirty, right? People saying, because you have to mine it. But you, you need to understand, proof of work makes it actually super secure, right? For, you know, in the, you know, it depends, right? Obviously, because right now we do have where I believe it's like the top, what percentage, small percentage of miners control like 50% of the the mining power, which is obviously not a great thing. But, you know, I do believe it's distributed. It's really good proof of work. But anyway, at the end of the day, Bitcoin is still going to be the, one of the greatest uh, stores of value, not for day-to-day daily transaction, etc. I think it's a good store of value, just like gold. It's designed like gold, basically, right? It's to have the halving, which is basically plateauing slowly and reaching that tw- 21 million uh, maximum supply. Okay, so anyways, never out China, the master. I think Bitcoin is always going to be number one. Uh, I will never imagine a day i don't even want a day where ethereum topples the market cap of bitcoin that wouldn't be great guys that would not be great we want to keep it we want to keep that same order bitcoin ethereum and then whatever the hell is could be the third fourth it might be bnb might be the the, the third i'm happy with that fourth hey pulse chain i'm happy with pulse chain being in the top five hex was in the top 10 cmc by the way if you guys didn't know okay and i believe if we did it once we can do it again and it gets easier yeah, I think it gets easier. So, anyways, that is P hex and hex. Okay, the reasons why I'm bullish on P hex is, of course, because if the sacrifice funds, you know, Richard Hart is probably going to do the same strategy that he did with hex, right? The the thing that led it to pumping really great, of course, doing the buybacks, etc. I'd rather him do that, a proven concept, that rather than paying uh, disingenuous uh, content creators who will be, you know, shilling hex etc and then be dumping <laughs> behind your back okay i don't like that this is what i like uh for richard to do this sac- using the sacrifice funds you know leveraging ethereum long in ethereum etc by the time ethereum goes to seven thousand plus the sacrifice sacrifice funds will be worth a billion plus so imagine that get getting in use for or being being used for buybacks against the uh, pulse x pulse INC and P hex and of course guys using that to collateralize to collateralize P die the stable coin in the making guys don't sleep on it don't sleep on it this is Richard has been hinting at it for such a long time such a long time okay um I've even showed people uh, using the logarithmic uh, chart where are, we are at a 242x away that is basically the easiest 242x i can name and it's probably the only the easiest 242x as a matter of fact this bull run <laughs> to make okay p guys it is mathematically gonna go to one dollar okay again i'm not giving any guarantees because you guys know this is crypto you have to do your own research at the end of the day i'm just here giving a spotlight i'm just being educational Okay, so you have to do your own research. But PDI, ladies and gentlemen, do not sleep on it. Absolutely crazy. Right now, cost four thousand nineteen dollars to own a million units of PDI. That is basically like purchasing a lottery ticket. Never 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 been done before, guys. Okay. This narrative is not possible anywhere else but in Pulse Chain. Is super excited. And imagine they add PDI to the stables liquidity pool, right? The one that you see in POSX, the one that's making like 15% APR. Imagine PDI then gets added there and it becomes the native stable coin for Pulse Chain. Guys, this is real life. This is Richard Hart's plan. He's just being quiet because of the SEC stuff. He can't say much, guys. 
because they're suing Hex, they're suing Pulse Chain, they're suing him for making an, an ICO. They think Pulse Chain and Hex are on research security, so he can't speak much, guys. You guys know what what's happening with SEC there. They like to spear people because I don't know. I don't know why. What they have against you know Richard Hart. You know what I mean? Maybe he is too correct for them. He likes decentralization. Do you know what I mean? He's against all of this. You know, let's put people in a control system. The government are actually, they'll be happier having you, right? The viewer who's watching, you go to a casino and lose money there than you actually using money to do educate, education, uh, edu- sorry, uh, educated uh, risks. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Yeah, educated risks on crypto. Because being in a casino, they are controlling that system. Because if you, even if you made money in a casino, they'll tax you through income tax, or no, capital gains tax. But even if you lost money, they'll make that money from the casino itself from their income tax. So they're winning either way. Okay, so it's kind of a sad reality in my opinion. And I think the SEC, they're spending too much time spearing lawsuits against you know certain people rather than taking time to understand crypto and then making laws and actual clear guidelines for people and companies to abide by, to, to actually understand, okay, how can I not be in trouble? You know what I mean? Like now I have to just hope every time I wake up that I'm not waking up to an email from you guys. You know what I mean? Basically, uh, I don't know, making a lawsuit about about me. Imagine they're literally suing Hex as if it's a person. How can you sue code, guys? Code is speech. So I think as well that this does indeed um, is an attack on the First Amendment. First Amendment, right? Is that an attack on the people's constitution rights in America, guys? <laughs> so, in my opinion, yeah, SEC is not really in the right in the right state of mind. In my opinion, I think things have changed. Uh, their kind of their priorities have changed since twenty twenty. Well, obviously, in that bull run, they've changed their uh, you know priorities. Unfortunately, not for the for the better of the community, because at the end of the day, you don't want to stifle the the growth of the crypto industry in America. Okay, you want to keep it the leading country. Okay, we had Uniswap, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So many things, guys. Look at the stable coins. What are the currency for the stable coins? It's the American dollar. What are you doing, SEC? What are you doing? This is why we do need Trump to win. We do need Trump to win. And fire Gar- Gary Gensler. Fire him. Anyways. Anyways, guys, second uh, PRC20 is PWTC. This is a winner. This is a sleeper. Not a lot of people are talking about this. Shout out to the people who are talking about this or to people who are DCAing this. This didn't do a 5,000x like PDI did. Okay, keep that in mind. So yeah, this one to Bitcoin's price, which is uh, roughly, okay, let's update this actually. Uh, This to Bitcoin's price, which is around 63, let's just say 63. Oh. 63,000 is a 300x. So you probably wouldn't believe me saying 300x. You probably in your head saying, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to make 300x. You know what I mean? Like, but this is actually possible because wrapped a BTC, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at it real quick. I don't think it's going to work like this. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, it won't work like this. But the uh, supply is around 154,000. Okay, because that's the snapshot that has been taken from the uh, wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum on the day, you know, Pulse Chain, uh, just before Pulse Chain launched. So that means it's locked at 154,000 at all times. And as well, Richard Hart owns 26% of the supply, guys, of the Bitcoin supply. So even less, even more scarce. There used to be Pulse X V1 forms for wrapped BTC, guys. Okay, imagine this comes back live again. There have been a lot of PulseX updates. Okay, they've even been updating the logos. They've updated the PDI logo to be the latest in PulseX, guys. I'm telling you, they are aware of the PRC20s. Of course, what are the top two? If you could only choose two top two PRC20s, it's literally PDI and PWC. Richard Hart has talked so many times about PWT saying how it's real Bitcoin. Oh, imagine being in in Bitcoin, you know, that will reach parity, etc., etc. And then PDI, been hinting at it. He 
he he loves Dai on Ethereum. Okay, he want to take it a step further. Hey, let's clone Dai on Pulse Chain so that we can take it a step further where it doesn't have admin keys. Okay, <laughs> it's so bullish. We have so many great narratives in Pulse Chain, but. Do keep in mind, Pulse Chain is doing really, really well, guys. Okay, against Ethereum. And looking at this as well, like this tells you everything. Pulse and Hex is the only green things happening. I think I did see other tokens like FTX and uh, I don't know, other tokens. Obviously, who's gonna, who the hell is going to buy FTX? But guys, the market has chosen Pulse Chain to be the greatest winner this altcoin season i am super excited to be covering this a big shout out by the way to the people who are choosing to support my small channel the youtube members a big shout out to this uh comment bespoken 2017 winner winner chicken dinner talking about vault okay i made a video on this a few days ago when vault was literally like 800 something came more cap so anyone who has watched that since congratulations you have done basically a nice 4.7 x but this is indeed only the beginning as i said i think this will repeat dragon x's history by going from under a million market cap all the way to 80 million plus and of course with this one i truly believe it can also go even higher so 100 million is basically the target 100 million that would be amazing uh will that be 100 million i'm not sure if, if that will be um yeah, I'm not sure. I think would that be one dollar? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I don't. I don't have quick math. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to the people who got into Vault, the auction. Uh, there was times where being in the auction wasn't the best thing to do. I've learned my lesson. Um, but oh, you best believe. I mean, I'm happy with my bag, but you best believe if there was any dips, I'm about to eat those dips like it's my last meal before my death row i am not taking any chances with the vault i missed out on dragon x okay i am not missing a vault i am not missing on hydra i am not missing on titan x guys titan x is going to be the biggest winner in ethereum this bull run actually worthy of being labeled as DeFi 2.0 proof of burn mechanics baby deflationary it will soon become deflationary the vault has already become deflationary it's crazy it's so crazy how quickly it's becoming scarce it's already burnt 11 percent of the supply as well anyways that's not the main talk of today's video but shout out to the people who watched that video guys you guys already know i like to follow the money ethereum is the land of whales pulse chain is the leverage of ethereum i'm in both lands i love ethereum i follow the money guys you have to adapt to situations diversify your bags learn to you know, learn new technologies, guys. Okay, it doesn't mean that you have to be full on in Ethereum. You don't. Need, it's really up to you at the end of the day, guys. Crypto is a solo sport. I've seen someone who mentioned that. Oh, I went from making Pulse Chain to making Titan X videos. I was like, what? What are you on about, bro? My biggest portfolio uh, pies, you know, pieces of pies are in, in Pulse Chain. But that's literally besides the point. I'm in both ecosystems. You can make money on both. You don't have to, I don't like this tribalism things in, in crypto, guys. Honestly, I really don't, I don't understand it. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, learn it from me. Be a disciplined trader. Don't be like with, with you know, a gatekeeper, et cetera, et cetera. Go wherever the money is, where money is to be made. Crypto is a sort of sport. So if you decided to sell Vault on a 10X, no one's going to blame you. You made money. You cashed out your profits. Good for you. That's the whole point of crypto, guys. Again, we have one bull run every four years, bro. So, of course, you want to cash out some money, okay? Don't marry your bags at the end of the day. But Vault is a good long term. So, of course, I'm practicing my delaying of gratification. It doesn't make any sense. Looking at the graph, I'm going to end the video here. Here, guys, I don't want to make it too, too long. How long is the video? 39 minutes. Damn, that's actually longer than I thought. But I don't want to make the video too, too long. Altcoin season. Uh, where do I anticipate it to, you know, start and end? like in terms of the rallying up okay so this is the graph that i kind of made this is where we are right now let's see if i have drawn this white line in such a long time obviously with every uh altcoin is this has always been peak one peak two i i do think we will reach our first peak 
at end of or end yeah end of March slash beginning of April. So we basically have from there till here we have a hundred eighty nine days. Okay, so tick tock tick tock. But of course, I'm I've been saying that we will start seeing the rally up. So basically, where front row seats are, that's it. It's gone now. It's just FOMO from the next you know hundred fifty days plus. So keep that in mind. Okay. So again, 2025 is going to be the main year where you need to make that money, take advantage of it. Retail investors are going to come in. They're going to make small wins with Bitcoin and Ethereum. After that, they're going to start shopping around. Okay. But by the time they realize that they want to make more X's than five, you've already had, have your positions in altcoin ecosystems. Okay. So take that, uh, take this time at very, um, you know, take, adva take advantage of the time that we have left right now, you know, learn about the new tokens, etc, etc. Use your buying power um, to your advantage, etc. And there's, there's wave two, peak two, and I think it will be around uh, in the end of 2025. So probably November, just before December, because December usually is like a, a month where, you know, not a lot of people uh, buy because, of course, it's holidays. People want to actually cash out so they can buy gifts, spend money, etc. So, yeah, I do think we're going to have this is going to be the money making period, which is a, a 200 day period. OK, things might come down. So roughly, you know, from the top might be a 60 percent. Yeah, it's roughly a 60 percent dip. And then we're back up again. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if the second peak will be higher than the first peak. I don't know if there's going to be a second peak either way. So, yeah, don't take chances you know try to be very smart of course with PDA, i don't have to worry about any of that because PDA will become a stable coin so it will it's so crazy that it will go from an investment to uh you know uh, inherently become a a safe a safe place <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but it's so crazy to me i don't have to do anything with PDA. i don't have to cash out with PDA because holding PDA to one dollar is basically cashing out that is a stable coin I swear I need to be imagined like it's so crazy the times that we live in guys honestly I'm gonna end the video there guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video share this with the crypto bros get them on get them on um pulse chain guys you know what I mean I've even started to have a, a close family member mention ehex to me or no sorry mention phex to me guys which is crazy that's kind of a that's a good sign where you have people who are outside who are not used to like altcoins who don't have a MetaMask mention, oh, I've seen Hex make 200% in the past few uh, weeks. I was like, whoa, uh, yeah, I've been in, in Hex. Let me tell you more about it. That's good news, guys. Do your part of the community, obviously, by onboarding people. I mean, it comes down to even sharing this video, giving it a like, commenting down below, boost, boost it in the YouTube algorithms gets my video in front of people who aren't new or aren't necessarily knowledgeable about pulse chain etc so that's your way of you know doing your part of community i hope you guys have been enjoying my videos you know what i mean giving you guys the information asymmetry the alpha um so yeah i'll catch you guys soon and uh thank you very much for watching take care have a great weekend as well bye, -bye.